So the number one question that I get all the time is, Ben, how can I position myself for the next big thing, the next uh, big piece of technology, the next big business opportunity? How do I do that? What What's coming that I can start learning about? And if I had to give you anything right now, it would 100% be cryptocurrency and blockchain technology. Now, if any of that scares you, don't let it scare you. Um, just like with anything brand new, it can be intimidating. But Luckily, there are some great resources now that weren't available five, 10 years ago. There's some great resources now that you can start getting your footing in some of these areas. So if you're someone that maybe you've been in cryptocurrency uh, and you wanted a little bit of a better background so you could make some better choices, or maybe you've not gotten into cryptocurrency yet at all, maybe you feel behind. And by the way, don't feel behind, you're still early. But you wanted a little bit of a better primer to these things. Today, I want to give you sort of some foundation and what you can do to get into it. So today I'm going to be talking about the three books that really, even after I'd been in cryptocurrency for a while, but the three books that really got me a great foundation, really helped me to understand what was going on and what's coming. All right, let's dive in. Let's do it. All right, so let's talk cryptocurrency. This is what I consider to be the biggest opportunity that has uh, presented itself to us in a very, very long time. And the problem is, is that it's such a strange concept that a lot of us get really, really intimidated the first time we look into it. So just to give you kind of a background of where I was with all this, as I heard about Bitcoin like way back in the day, uh, not not as it first started back in 2009, uh, 2008, 2009, um, but sort of in the 2010, 2011, uh, when it was really hard to buy. And um, none of my early, <laughs> just, just let me get this out of here, none of my early fun in the cryptocurrency market paid off for me at all. Um you know, I got caught up in, in lots of fun stuff where, you know, it, it was just the Wild West. And so none of that early stuff really hit me the way that it should have. And, and I, I'm not sitting on a ton of Bitcoin or anything like that because I got into it really early. Now, what I did do is I, around 2017 is when I got heavy into crypto and I started really, you know, doing research and, and really enjoying things. And um, yeah, so for those of you that need a, a little quick primer, cryptocurrency was really something that came out, um, not just because of this, but it really came into prominence because of what happened in 2008 with the uh, the housing crisis and the financial crash that happened because of that. Uh, I don't want to spoil any of the fun for you because the books that I'm going to talk about today are going to walk you through that process in a fun way, by the way. None of the stuff that I'm giving you is boring. It's actually going to be fun to learn about this stuff. And that, I think that's the other part where a lot of people get stuck with cryptocurrency. They're like, oh my gosh, uh, I know I can benefit from this, but it's a lot and it's a lot to take in. And it's, ugh, my brain's just not wired that way. Well, no worries. We're, we're going to take care of that today. So the idea with cryptocurrency is what if you didn't have to have a middleman? What if you did not have to go through banks and through approvals and tons of mess to store value. What if there was a way that you could hedge against inflation? And if all, if any of that sounds uh, a little too over your head, don't worry about it. Uh, that that's not that's that's not going to be a problem once we get going with this. What I really want to do today is, without trying to explain cryptocurrency, without trying to give you a backstory, I want to tell you about three books and. As much as I'd been into cryptocurrency since early on, since 2017, when I really got into it, um, it wasn't until I really hit these three books that I that I started feeling very, very comfortable with this stuff. Now, I've, I've read lots of things. I've listened to lots of things after this. But these three books that I'm going to give you today are really foundational in understanding the journey that got us to where we are and really where we're going with this cryptocurrency thing and how it's going to be a monster opportunity for the entire human race. No matter where you are, no matter how much money you make, how it's going to change our lives. And there's going to be good, there's going to be bad, there's going to be ugly. But 
how you can position your stuff and start to really understand it. So I'm going to go through three books today, and I'm going to name those three books right out of the gate here. I'll make sure we put them in the show notes for you guys so that you've got those. Uh, but I'm going to name these three books uh, right out of the gate, and then I'm going to give you a, kind of a short explanation of what each book is, what I really dug about it, and, and then get to work, go, go listen to them. And, and, and listen, I didn't read these by sitting down uh, in my chair and like going through the book, you know, step by step. My my reading chair, my reading chair, quote unquote. That was not this kind of situation. I've been really busy lately, uh, but I I wanted to tackle these topics, and so when I actually consumed these books, they were all done with Audible. Um, and I, by the way, I'm I'm not sponsored by Audible. I don't have any commercials to give you guys, so there's no there's not going to be any fun podcast link <laughs> to Audible in this uh, this episode. But I listened to these on Audible. Uh, while I was at the gym and driving. So anytime I went on a trip, one of these books was on. Anytime that I was at the gym, one of these books was on, and that's how I consume them. And so just to give you a little more insight as to how I learn uh, this kind of stuff, there you go. Okay, so here's the three books. The first one is called Bitcoin Billionaires by Ben Mesrick. Um, the second one is called Kings of Crypto by Jeff John Roberts. And the third one is called The Infinite Machine, How an Army of Crypto Hackers is Building the Next Internet with Ethereum by Camilla Russo. Now, all of these, as I said, I picked up um, on Audible, and I was listening through Audible, and that's how I did it. I'm pretty sure um, all of them have paper versions that you can get through Amazon. I think the Infinite Machine, there's a little bit of a, a different name uh, with that. I think it's still called the Infinite Machine. It's still by Camilla Russo, but there's a different version that um, you'll get if you go through the paper version, but, but still those things. Now, let's get into each of these. Now, I actually gave those books to you in the order that I would recommend uh, going through them. <laughs> now, I went through them the complete opposite way. I actually went through it, The Infinite Machine. I went through Kings of Crypto and then Bitcoin Billionaires. But I, I would recommend that you actually go in reverse on these things. Um, and it, it'll make sense in here in a couple minutes as, as to why. But let's go through each one of these. And I'm going to give you a short summary of what I learned from these books, what I think you can pick up and why these books were so powerful for me. So first thing is Bitcoin Billionaires by Ben Mesrick. This is a book that basically is the sequel to um, Accidental Billionaires, which if you uh, know any of uh, my history, one of my favorite movies um, is The Social Network. Uh, and, and it's it's my favorite, not because it's about Facebook necessarily, but it's, it's, it's a great tight movie. And it is an interesting story, whether it's completely true or not. And it's based on a book called The Accidental uh, Billionaires by Ben Mesrick. And this book, the, re the reason I like the movie, The Social Network, is Aaron Sorkin uh, put it together. And I'm a big Aaron Sorkin fan. But Bitcoin Billionaires is a continuation of that. And if you watched uh, The Social Network, you are familiar with the Winklevoss twins who were pegged as the villains in this movie, sort of the uh, arch rivals of Mark Zuckerberg. Um, you go through Bitcoin billionaires and you're not so sure that these guys were actually the villains. <laughs> you, you, you really, especially with some of the things that have come out now, you really start to think that maybe Zuckerberg might be the villain of all of these stories. Uh, but, but I'm not here to comment on that. But what I, but what's interesting about Bitcoin billionaires is what happened to the Winklevoss twins after uh, the Facebook fallout, how they took their Facebook settlement, how they invested their Facebook settlement and what they built out of it and how that sort of intersects with what was going on with um, the financial crisis of 2008, the fallout after and the dawn of Bitcoin and what they did, what they went through, what they built. And it is a fascinating walkthrough of the company that they built afterwards and how they became billionaires uh, because of Bitcoin and are billionaires today because of Bitcoin. And it's very interesting. Now, for those of you that don't know, there is a company, it's a huge, huge, huge company called Gemini that was built by the Winklevoss twins. It's a multi-billion dollar company and it was built um, because of their journey through all this. And so you're, you're sort of getting an insight as to how this company was built, but the real fun part of this book for anybody that is listening to this book or reading this book is it gives you an, just a great and entertaining history. Ben Mesrick has a great talent of writing drama um, into this whole world, but it's a story that you don't feel like you're learning. Um, <laughs> you're, you're not struggling to learn, I guess is the best way to put it. So Bitcoin Billionaires, highly recommend it. It will give you a foundation of 
not only Gemini, but sort of what was happening with Bitcoin, how it sort of came into being, how it came together, how it affected a lot of things through the years, what's been the growth pattern and where Bitcoin's really going. Okay, so that, that's the first one. The second one is called Kings of Crypto. It's by Jeff John Roberts. And this is a look behind the scenes as to probably what most people is their first introduction into buying a cryptocurrency, which is Coinbase. Coinbase is an app, uh, or you know, you can access it online too, but it's an app on most people's phones when they first get into cryptocurrency, when they're buying their first Bitcoin, they're buying their first Ethereum, they're buying their first whatever happens to be on there. And it's a very easily accessible way to get started with crypto. And, and so this is the story, kind of the story behind the scenes of how Coinbase got started, what were the struggles. And this is another really interesting look into Bitcoin. Uh, the reason this is second is Bitcoin billionaires is very hardcore Bitcoin. And that was the first. So that's where I think you should start. Kings of Crypto, of course, it's very Bitcoin oriented, but then it's going to start tailing into some Ethereum things like that, which Ethereum to me is a very, very important part of the story uh, that we're into. So Coinbase, the story behind the scenes of kind of how they grew, what their struggles were, how Bitcoin was a part of it. Learning how these people built a company, uh, both both the Winklevoss twins and Bitcoin billionaires and the Coinbase crew and Kings of Crypto, learning these things is a very entertaining way to get a sense of what Bitcoin is and how it plays into all the cryptocurrency things happening right now. And so you'll get some of these altcoin stories and all the fun that was happening with that. Uh, but those two books, excellent, excellent, excellent deep dives into that. Now, once you get through those, you, you, it's time to get a little bit more nerdy. And this is where we get into The Infinite Machine by Camilla Russo. This is the story of Ethereum. Okay, now Ethereum, let, let's just say that Bitcoin is like gold. Um, I'm not going to make the statement that Bit, that uh, Ethereum is like silver. You know, people will say that. But Bitcoin is like gold, uh, meaning it's not incredibly... The, the best thing to just spend on a daily basis. It's like a good store of value, okay? Ethereum is more of your what we're spending on a daily basis. Now, there's a lot of problems with that right now for those of you that know what Ethereum is, but to really understand what's going on with Ethereum, what the Ethereum coin, what the Ethereum network is going through right now, and to really get a base into what cryptocurrency is, the Infinite Machine gives you a amazing walkthrough of what it took to build Ethereum why it was sort of a uh, improvement on Bitcoin, what the goals were, and where we're going from there. So those are the three books. I'll have them in the show notes for you guys. I wanted to actually put this together because we're going to be doing a larger exploration of cryptocurrency along the way. Not only am I going to be covering business topics, what I'm doing with my software companies, what I'm doing you know, with my lifestyle stuff, but you know, a big part of all of that is financing those things um, and making money and you know, having freedom. And right now, you know, I, I can tell you one of the biggest pieces of the puzzle for me for having that freedom and for setting myself up, setting my family up for the future is cryptocurrency. And so I highly recommend those books. I didn't want this to be a long podcast this time, but I wanted to get you guys going with these three books because they've been so, so important for me to understand. Like I said, I was already in cryptocurrency before these books, but I wish that I would have had these to start. And even... Even going through it, having some experience, having these books um, was big. So here's the three again. Bitcoin Billionaires by Ben Mesrick, Kings of Crypto by Jeff John Roberts, and The Infinite Machine by Camilla Russo. Like I said, I listen to all of those on Audible, uh, but I'm pretty sure you can jump to Amazon right now, pick up those books. Great reads, great listens, and you're going to be in a good spot. So the moral of the story here and where I'm really going is to set up sort of what's coming in the future which is we're going to be talking, of course, more about business, more about you know finances, more about lifestyle, things that have helped me to be you know hopefully a better human. And this is a huge, huge part of what's coming for us in the next five to 10 years. You're going to see a giant disruption, in my opinion, of banking in the next few years. And it's going to be because of these particular coins, Bitcoin and Ethereum, but the coins that have come after them. But really what we have coming that has really set itself in motion because of the foundation that's been laid. And, and that's with decentralized finance, things like that. And I'm going to be talking a lot more about that along with the stuff that I always talk about 
on this podcast. So do me a favor. Uh, if you love today's podcast, uh, go over to iTunes uh, or wherever you listen to podcasts. Leave us a review. Those things are absolutely helpful. Subscribe. That's always nice to see uh, new subscribers. You can always go to SerialProgressSeeker.com to get show notes. And, and do me one more favor. Jump over to Twitter and go to Twitter.com slash Ben Atkins. So Twitter.com slash Ben Atkins. Give me a follow. And I have been moving a lot of my day-to-day stream of consciousness stuff to Twitter uh, over Facebook. I, oh, for, for years, it was completely Facebook for me. Uh, but we've been moving a lot over to Twitter because um, I'm seeing a lot more function with that. So if you want to kind of get the latest and the greatest from me uh, you know, and know when things are happening uh, before they even land on the podcast, before they land anywhere else, follow me on Twitter, and that's where you're going to see lots of that stuff land. All right, so I hope you enjoyed the episode. Lots more coming in the next few months, the next few weeks. And um, yeah, leave me a comment on the podcast and let me know what you're thinking. If you don't want to leave a comment on something like iTunes, you can always go to SerialProgressSeeker.com or you can just at me on Twitter and uh, you can get a hold of me there. All right, hope you enjoyed it. Go get those books. Let me know what you think. I want to know your opinions on them. What did you learn? And uh, what questions do you have in terms of cryptocurrency? If we're going to start this conversation, let's start the conversation. And I hope you dug the pod. I will see you very, very soon. We're going to be doing lots more of these very, very soon as we sort of get into the next stage of the Serial Progress Seeker podcast. All right, Ben Atkins here. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.